Well, here's our first label. Isn't this exciting? Let's look at several things about this and what you can learn. Of course, you have the name of the drug there, Gimzar, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce that silly thing. That's the brand name. There's a generic name. Now, here's something I need to point out that's extremely important. This will show you how much total powder is in that bottle, 200 milligrams. Here's a major caution. Ready? Major caution. That number usually will not be in the dosage calculation. That tells you how much there is in the bottle, but do not expect that number to be a, an important number to do in the calculation itself. Now it says for injection, but a lot of times, well not a lot of times, it'll say stuff like this, for IV use only. That's the only way you can give this stuff. Well, let's now get to the guts of this and see what's going on. You turn the label sideways in this case, and it says, well, let's see. Okay, store, da, 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 da. Main thing right here, there, to reconstitute. Add five milliliters of 0.9% sodium chloride injection without preservatives. So the first thing, that's how much diluent we're going to add to the bottle. And on the quiz, I'm going to ask you this every time. How much diluent are you going to add? Well, you get that by just reading the label. So you get your little syringe, you'll stick it into the bottle of 0.9% sodium chloride, and you'll get five milliliters out and put that into this bottle of the powdered but then, keep going. How strong is it once you do that? It says we do that to make a solution containing 38 milligrams per milliliter. That's the dosage strength. Well, let's say, and it tells you, oh, well, look at this though. Administer a solution within 24 hours. This stuff goes bad within 24 hours. That's another reason to show you how important this is that some of these medications come in a powder form. They couldn't make it up in the factory and ship it to the hospital or the pharmacy. It'd go bad before it ever got there. It has to come in a powder form and you mix it up yourself. Once that's over, the 24 hours have expired, you throw it away. So two extremely important numbers. You'll add this much diluent, five milliliters, and there's how strong it is, 38 milligrams per milliliter. Now I'm not gonna do this with every single label. Let's, let's show you this one right now. A dosage calculation problem. Let's say the order was for 50 milligrams. Well, here's the way I've been teaching this. Here's what you do. You take that order, 50 milligrams over one, and here's the dosage strength. This stuff has 38 milligrams in every milliliter. That's what it said over here on the label. And you do your dose of calculation, take this, divide it by this, cancel out the milligrams, and the answer is, well, one point, blah, 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 which, since it's more than one, rounds off to tenths. The final answer is 1.3 milliliters. So expect to do this type of thing on your homework and on the quiz. You'll be shown a label. You'll be asked questions like, how much diluent will you add? What's the dosage strength after you mix it up? You might be asked how much is in the bottle? Well, this, 200 milligrams. But notice again, is that 200 milligrams in the dosage calculation? No. All you know is there's my order. This is how strong it is. Once I mix it up, you get that number from the label itself. And there's your answer. You might be asked, how long does this stuff last before it goes bad? Well, in this case, 24 hours. So that, now this is an easy label. I'm starting out with some easier ones it gets crazier and weirder as we go along. So get this down first. Understand how you read these things and where these numbers come from.